This is exercise 3, 3A, OSNAP practice. I've opened the train file found in the Steps Lesson 3 folder. If I check my status bar, I can see that all of my toggles have been turned off, and I'm ready to begin. We'll start with the line command, and we want to start at an endpoint. We'll use the keyboard entry method by typing end, and I can select point 1. Notice that AutoCAD gives me a heads up. It says I'm on endpoint and it gives me an icon. When I get the selection box, I pick and I move on. I use the endpoint option again to select the point at point 2 and complete the command. Next we'll draw a cow catcher down in the front. We'll use the line command, the extension OSNAP, and polar tracking. First, let's set up polar tracking. Right click on the snap toggle and select settings. AutoCAD presents the drafting settings dialog box with the snap and grid tab on top. Place a bullet next to polar snap. and then set polar distance at 0.25. Be sure you, to you toggle your snap on. Then we'll go to polar tracking. And here we want to make sure that we use that we track using all polar angle settings. Make sure you toggle polar tracking on and complete the procedure. Now, we begin with our line command. We're going to use the extension OSNAP at the keyboard. When you place your crosshairs over point 1 without picking, notice that you'll have an extension prompt. Move your cursor down until your extension is 3 quarters of an inch at 262 degrees. And then you pick. Now we use polar tracking to create a rectangle a quarter inch up and two inches to the left. Using polar tracking, we go a quarter inch, two inches, a quarter inch, and then we can close the line. Okay. Now we're going to use the endpoint O snap again. And we're going to draw a line from our endpoint here to the endpoint at point 1. Complete the command, repeat the command. We will start this time at the endpoint here, and we will go to the nearest point, again using the keyboard, NEA the nearest point to point 3. Notice how we get a symbol telling us that's where we are. And then I'll complete the command. That shows you something about how to use keyboard entry method, the keyboard entry method when you're doing O snaps. We'll try to use the menu next. We'll repeat the line command. This time we'll select a point where two lines would intersect if they were a bit longer. And we'll use the cursor menu. I'll hold down my shift key and right click and I'll select apparent intersection. AutoCAD asks me which non-intersecting line I wish to use. We'll select the line we drew between the cow canter and the front line. We get an apparent intersection symbol and then as we move up to this line we'll get the intersection symbol and that's where those lines would intersect if they ran into each other. Okay, this time we want to go parallel. I'm going to shift and right click, select parallel, and I want to go parallel to this line here. Let me turn my ortho off, and I want to go parallel to this line here. Notice the parallel signs. And then as I move up, notice that I've got a parallel cheater line, ghost line. And when I get to the intersection up there, I'll select 
and complete the command. Again, we'll repeat the line command. This time we want our line to begin a little bit above the circle on the top of our bell. So I will hold down the shift key and right click and say from, hold down the shift key and right click, the center of that circle. Now AutoCAD asks me to specify where I want to begin. And I actually want to begin at point 25 inches at an angle of 90 degrees. So I begin that far above my circle. And I want to go down perpendicular to the top of my train, like so. We're going to start the line command again. This time we'll go from the end point at point 8 and I want to go to the center of this circle. I'm going to use a shortcut by holding down my shift key and my comma key. Then AutoCAD should give me the center of the circle. Again, that was an O snap, but it was done using shortcut keys on the keyboard. Next, we'll draw a line from the node, that's this X, at point 10 and we're going to go tangent to this circle here, the small one, like so. Finally, we'll draw a line from the endpoint at point 12 to the midpoint, and again I'm going to use the uh, shortcut key by holding down shift and M I'll go to the midpoint here. Complete the command and I have drawn my train.